In this video, Coach Huber will teach you how to dominate in the paint with highly effective post moves to score around the basket. I believe every single player should be practicing post play. Even if you're a point guard, you can use this to score at will against weaker post defenders. This video will give you all the ins and outs on how to dominate around the basket to score. This includes the three C's of post play and why all players need this, five power post moves against smaller or weaker defenders, four quick post moves against bigger or slower defenders, and a great competitive drill to improve your post moves against a live defender. Before we get started, make sure to check out the link in the description below so you can gain access to a free workout to help you improve your ability to score around the basket and in the paint. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Now let's get started with the three C's of post play. This will help you gain better position on defensive players in the post, and it will enable you to score more points around the basket. So now we're gonna get into how to be effective in the post. And I think, I don't care if you're a guard, if you're a big, if you're a wing, whatever you play, you need to understand how to play a little bit with your back to the basket. You'll see now, like Oklahoma City Thunder, they, Billy Donovan, when he went and coached there, he started taking Russell Westbrook and he inverted him in the post because of his strength and his size to be able to punish smaller people guarding him. So you're gonna have coaches that might look at mismatches and try to take advantage of your size, even if you're a point guard. So a couple things we need to think about is this. We, we talk to our individuals in, in, the, in the post. First thing, if I came across the lane and I was going across, maybe somebody said a flex screen or like a, a cross screen for me and I'm coming across, we talk about stopping at the rim first. Stopping at the rim, showing our hands, because we'd like to catch a little two footer right here, right? Don't overrun a layup. But we got one 1,000 two if we can't get it here. Now we're sprinting outside the lane and we don't want to get called for a three second call, right? Okay? But the biggest thing you understand when you come out in the post, do not straddle the block and don't be right at the block because now if I catch it and I pivot baseline, now I got a backboard that's almost like a, a, another defender, right? I have no angles. So we want to talk about straddling the first hash. The first hash right here, splitting it. So if I pivot and face, I got angles and I got, I got areas to move and space to create and do stuff off of, okay? So that's the first thing. Now, when I catch the basketball, a couple things in the post. The ball is thrown, you're just gonna sometimes get a bad pass. You gotta leave position to gain possession, right? You gotta make sure you understand that as well. I catch the basketball, when you catch it, here's what I want you to think about. We call about the three C's. First, I wanna catch it, right? Get it with two hands and catch it. And we talk about the second C, I wanna chin it. Chin it, be tight with the basketball, because you're gonna have people coming in, digging down, trying to come in and dig the basketball out, right? A lot of smaller people, so I'm gonna chin the basketball. And then we talk about the third C is check. I wanna check. Don't look, I'm not a big believer in looking in the corner, look baseline. I look to, look, like to look check middle because I can see three-fourths of floor double teams coming. If I need to back dribble out of it, space, and play out of it. Next, Coach Jim Huber takes you through four post moves that you can use to blow by bigger or slower players to score around the basket. Say I'm bigger than RJ. He's small and I'm bigger, right? Got big shack guarding him. So in that mindset, the same thing he's gonna do, he's gonna catch it, chin and check. He knows that, and say I'm playing behind him. Now he can very easily do the old Tim Duncan, man. He can back pivot, rip the ball, right face up, and he ought to be thinking shot. And the key thing to make this effective, as he back pivots, it's gotta be a violent rip. He's gotta be violent with his feet and ripping the ball in the position to shoot it, because the quicker he does that, as a defender, I'm gonna be backing off. He quick into it, I'll back off, he'll create space into it. And the other thing like RJ is doing, he turns, he's ready to shoot the basketball. He wants to have the same footwork every time. He doesn't want to turn, go ahead, turn, and overturn to where he's got to now step back. He doesn't want to underturn, he turns underturn where he's got to re-step, gather himself, and shoot it. You want to step, same footwork, so you're ready to shoot the basketball. So he's right here, he's going to catch it, chin check, back pivot shot. He's at a 45 degree angle, he's using the glass. Wide hands, showing hands, ball, 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 catching it, 
ready to shoot at turn, right? Now, if he does that and he shoots a cup when he makes it, then my mindset, hands wide, my mindset, he catches it, chin check, he back pivots. I take it away now because I'm tired of getting beat. Now what he's going to do is he's going to step, sweep baseline, rip the ball across, knee to knee, step to the rim, hard smash him. And a couple things you can think about is this. If he catches it and he does that, he back pivots, stop there, and he steps and goes, and I'm a defender, I'm on the inside, and he starts to attack, and he sees me and feels me here. He can veer me and bump me out and then create space to go. Because what'll happen if you don't do that sometimes, go ahead, back pit or sweep and attack, they'll push you out, right, outside the baseline and you have no angles, you step out of bounds. The other thing that can happen is, if you back pivot and sweep and go, I might be here and you might see me, you might go the opposite side and finish and go to reverse, right, okay? So we'll work on that right now. So you got your counter, Wide hands, blah, 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 catch it, rip, attack, goes up, dunks, and finishes, right? Do it again, catch it, you can have him read it. So he's here, right? And then that, like I pushed him, I would love for him to fill me, and now I want you to veer me in that situation. Hands wide, catch, rip, have me, good, veer me, create space, and go. So again, that's another one. Now, what he could also do on the counter is this. He catches it, he faces up, rips, Going this, I take it away. Say I take it away in this time, RJ. You rip and go, I take it away. Now he's coming back to the middle. We call this a lot of times a double rip, but in the post you'll see guys even do this. RJ's here, I might catch it, and I might know he's slower and stronger, but I might just bait him to go this way so that I can step and get back middle to my hook. A lot of people call it the probe. Probe in the game of basketball. So he's here, catching it, back pivot, rips, comes back middle, finishing, right? Okay, so that's if you have a smaller person or a bigger person guarding you that's slower that you can use your quickness against them. One more thing I just wanna show you in the post, another thing you can think about is this. If he catches the basketball, go ahead, give it to him, and he feels somebody like button up against him, button up against him. Now we can do the old shack, just killing a quick spin. He can turn off of me, my pressure, just quick spin and turn and go, right? We're gonna show this real quick. And what he's doing is, it's just a four pivot. He's gonna turn, spin. He's gonna take that person momentum away from them. Defender, body ball on this side and attack. So again, you're not fighting the pressure, you're using it against them. And a backup, but sir, you feel me? He's gonna turn, spin, attack, and go. All right, and it can be this side too. Do it again. Say I'm butting you from this side. He can turn, spin, and go middle. So again, in the post, if you notice some of the footwork, a lot of it's the same you do on the perimeter, different parts in the game of basketball. But think about it, if you have somebody smaller than you, attack them, take them further to the basket, get close, dunk on them, jump hook them, do whatever. If they're bigger, stronger, then face up, shoot it, use your quickness against them, and attack them in the post. Next, Coach Jim Huber takes you through five post moves that you can use to power through smaller or weaker defenders and score more points. You want to understand this, like if RJ came and sealed and he straddled the first hash and I'm guarding him, RJ's bigger than me. So if he catches the basketball, you want to think this, he wants to punish me at the rim. That's what you should be thinking of a smaller person is guarding you. So his mindset ought to be step right to the rim in the middle of my midsection. He's gonna smash what we call it a crab dribble close to the body. And I want him to think about this. Let me see the ball. So say RJ's guarding me and he's on my back and I feel him. I'm gonna step here right to his legs. I'm gonna pound dribble. I'm gonna step reach pound dribble and I'm gonna take him and I'll put him underneath the rim. I might dunk on him. I might jump hook. I'm gonna punish him right there, okay? That's the mentality you wanna have. Now, a couple things with this. When I catch it and I chin it and check and I see he's smaller than me and I wanna pin him there and I step reach and I attack hard smash over, you gotta pound the ball hard. Cause you're lazy with your dribbles, they're gonna come and take it from you. Hard dribble, hard dribble, smash it. And when he comes, say I go up to shoot a jump hook, now he takes this away from me. I could rip the ball through from shoulder to shoulder at my chest, step through this defender and go off to a step through if he took it away. If he took that away, if I step through him and come here, I could pivot back, shoot a jump hook, right? It's all about footwork. Kim Olajuwon back in the day, great with footwork, right? And what he did. The next thing I wanna show is this. If I catch it here 
and I step reach hard crabs or carbs, and I beat him a couple times the rim. The coach is getting on RJ, yelling at him. He's gonna jump me here, try to take away. That's great. Because I'm gonna counter him with a drop step, or people call it a spin. I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna spin, bring the ball with me, and as I do it, then I'm gonna switch hands, go up and finish on him, okay? So we're gonna work on this, and we'll just show you. And let's go, uh, BJ, come on out here real quick. You be a passer. So that BJ coming out being a passer, and you're in a good athletic stance, and you wanna make sure when you're sealing, head up, back up wide, hands here like a goal post. Don't let me get my hands above you, showing chest, showing numbers. The ball comes to him, go ahead, throw it. He catches it, he's gonna chin it and check, and look, he sees me spawn him. He's gonna step reach, right at my, in between my legs, hard crab dribble, go up and finish, right? Do it again. All right now, I want him on this one, I want him to go up and dunk on me on this one. Watch this. He's gonna catch it, chin check, step reach, hard crab dribble, hard crab dribble, gets me at the rim and he dunks on me, all right? Now, say that doesn't happen and say he step reach and I don't let him get me underneath the basket. Now he's gonna go to a jump hook. In the jump hook, he's gonna come to a two foot stop, he's gonna stay low. He's gonna think defender, body ball. Ball's gonna be here on the outside shoulder, right at his ear, and now he's gonna explode up, lock his elbow up, snap his wrist over, right with the jump hook. Here we go, catch a chin check, step reach hard crab dribble, got jump hook going up, right into it. Okay, nice job, RJ. So that would be a jump hook that you would have, right? Now, we're gonna act like you're gonna do the same thing, RJ. I want you to smash dribble, step reach, get me there. You go into your jump hook, because I push you a little further out, and I take it away from you, you're gonna step through me. Step through me, catch it, chin check, step reach, go. You go up your jump hook, I take it away, he's gonna step through me, he's gonna attack and go finish, right? And on your step through as he did, stay nice and low, compact, step through him, so now they can't push you off and you get off balance. Now watch this, you're gonna do the same thing, you're gonna step through me, RJ, I'm gonna come and take that away, and now you're gonna turn, you can shoot a jumper, you could turn four pivot jumper. You could sit there and shoot your jump hook, whatever you want, okay? Catch it, chin check, step reach, you come in, attacking, go jump hook, step through, I take it away. He turns, pivots, finish, finish, finish. And we always want to do this. If he misses, tell him to go automatically, go up and finish. Hands up, back up, catch it, step reach, step reach, step through me, I take it away. He pivots and comes back, right? Now, the other thing I would love to do, like with RG, I'd be like this in a stance, staying little hands up, going, ball! Ball, ball, because guards, they don't throw the ball inside. They don't. So you gotta demand it. Show them numbers. Ball, ball, ball. Because if you don't do it and you're passive, trying to post up and he turns the ball over, what's gonna happen to you when you turn it over? They're gonna take you out, right? So you're not, I'm not throwing him again. Okay, now here's what happens here. So he's gonna throw it to him, demand the ball, 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 ball. He step reach, right crab dribble, he comes, I take it away from him. Now he's gonna drop, step, spin, and go. Now, if he's further out here, if he gets pushed out, go ahead and do it again. He said, and I'm further out, he might have to take an extra dribble and he might not. So if it's like this, and you come here, come on, take me away, I might have to drop, and as I drop, pull the ball with me, defender body ball, don't switch hands, you switch hands like this before you turn, they're gonna take it from me. I pull the ball with me, stay on top of it, protect the ball with my body, and as I turn, now I'm pulling it. Now if I need to take the extra dribble, I can take it, RJ has a little length, he didn't need it, okay? So we'll go here. Now, watch this, do the same thing, good. He comes, step, reach, hard, crab dribble, take it away, drops and goes, right, dunks. So again, that's what you could do working on if you have a smaller person on you attacking him at the rim and sitting there trying to pound him inside and finish dunking on him or using a hook. Next, Coach Jim here will take you through a competitive post play drill that will improve your moves to score around the basket. This is called the one-on-one -on -one in the paint drill. So what we're gonna do is, how it's set up is we have two players at the elbows, all right, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna sprint down and they gotta touch their foot on the lane line on their side, right? Just, just touch their foot, one foot's gotta touch, and then they're gonna sprint to the chair. The first one that gets there and grabs it's on offense the person that trails on defense, all right? And in this drill right now, we're gonna play it to where you're gonna play until somebody scores. So what happens is if you get a first Zach right here and you take it, come on Zach, come here Deck, and Deck's on defense, come on guard him, and say you turn, say you shoot it, say you miss it, 
he misses it and deck gets real and he can stick it back right there and play and you got to go guard him so it's like you're playing live after that offense rebound stick back you're trying to make it difficult for him to score and now we're having the mentality is we're rebounding sticking back and scoring okay and then whoever finishes now stays on offense the person that didn't goes off and then you'll come on nick okay all right so on go you're going to sprint up Make sure when you grab it, tell your players when they sprint up or your, your individual coming up, come up low, low, wow, rip it, rip it tight, right? Chin it, check, and be low and compact. Have a base to yourself, okay? All right, you ready? Go. Good. Now he would stay. He would get two points. That one would be off. Here comes Nick on. And ready? Go. Let's go. Good, step through the rondo action. Nice, play, 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 play. Play, Nick. Come on, come on, Zay, you gotta rebound it. Play, play, rebound, stick back, let's go, let's go. So again, working on rebound the basketball, putting it back up, thinking about offense, defense, and rebounds. Ready, go, let's go. Being able to grab it, go right back up and finish. Play, play, play. Tell them they got three dribble max. Good. So stop there. So then you just keep track of score. And again, offense will stay on, make it take it. Defense comes on. And again, you're, you're having them play it while they're catching it, kind of the middle of the lane, back the basket, and now they got options. Do they sit there again? Do they step into somebody and the crab dribble get lower to a hook? Do they drop step spin somebody takes away? Are they gonna face up and play? And then when shots up, they're thinking rebound, rebound, right? Grabbing it, offense, rebound, stick back, we're trying to score. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned what you can do to dominate in the paint and score around the basket. And just a reminder, be sure to check out the link in the description below so you can gain access to a free workout to help you improve your ability to score more points. Also, please do us a favor by clicking the like and the subscribe buttons so we can continue to give you more new videos. Thanks for watching.